Hello, everybody. This is the one and only Mr. LP of In Live and Global Media. And today we're doing a little bit something special and different. Uh, first and foremost, let me offer my prayers and loves to everybody who are going through many uh, different difficulties during this COVID-19 crisis. Our prayers are with you and we hope that those who are still with us are recovering and everybody will be financially, spiritually, and emotionally free during this crisis. Today we're doing a little bit of a special of a soap opera uh, called Undaunted liaisons. Uh, this will be the story of the relative family and as we go through the beginning I'm going to give a little bit of an introduction of the relative family as it goes and going forward we have five wonderful participants joining us in this conversation. I will also be participating as one of the characters as well um, and we're going to uh, start off uh, with uh, Queen Leslie here. Hi my name is Leslie Dupree. I'm from Newport News, Virginia. I'm a singer, actress, graphic designer, and songwriter. I owned uh, Lesty Entertainment before the Rona shut her down. So I don't know if I'm going mobile or not, but I'm uh, thankful for being a part of this. Okay. And your character? Oh, my character is Vivian Wellington. Vivian Wellington. Okay. Not a problem. And the uh, dear Queen Tandalin. Hi, everyone. My name is Tandalin Cook. Um, I am a actress, uh, also a co-author, and um, I hope everyone is doing well in the midst of the storm. I think it's giving people a lot of time to really think about their lives, reflect, rebuild, and come out with their feet running once the levees, as I call them, open. Um, the character that I will be playing is uh, Kata Wellington. Um, she's the youngest of the Wellington children. She's spoiled. She is a successful internet uh, company owner, uh, which promotes makeup and other women, uh, women's self-care lines. And uh, yeah, I look forward to how this masterpiece is gonna unfold. Okay, awesome. Uh, Coach? Hey, I am Coach Ellis. And in real life, I'm uh, a life coach specializing in uh, faith development, relationship development, and leader development. Um, I hosted the award-winning show, The Rules, Relationship Universal Lessons, here in Hampton Roads and in Richmond. Uh, for this play, and I, I, am, I am happily uh, to report that my rules reward is also on with us. So um, I, am, I am playing the role of Pastor Jones. That's right, I'm your favorite pastor. And we're gonna, we're gonna have to talk about how as a man of God, as a man of God, how I will help reach the masses for the kingdom using um, Brother Wellington's great influence. So hallelujah, hallelujah. No problem. <laughs> All right. Uh, next, uh, we have Queen uh, Lady D. Well, good afternoon, everybody. I am Lady D, Deborah Crumb. My character, oh my goodness, my character is Lady Carmilla Wellington. And uh, as far as the real me, I am partnering with my husband, Transformational Conversations, The Rules, and The Shepherd's Nook. So blessings to everyone. Stay safe during this time that we're working through here in our states. Right. And uh, last but not least, uh, King Boyd. Yes, good afternoon. My name is Roy Boyd, and I will be playing the role of Senator Roberts in town. I am the co-producing director of Cultural Libations, which is a multidisciplinary entertainment and theater company. I am also a theater professor, actor, director as well. So, And thank you. Thank you, Mr. LP. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, thank you. and I am going to play, uh, switching off uh, for differently, I'm going to play uh, Mr. Sonny uh, um, Wellington. I am uh, the oldest uh, son of the family, and I was missing for a few years, and we're going to see how that goes uh, from there. So first and foremost, uh, we're gonna, everybody's going to be talking for, have a discussion for five minutes uh, for a couple of rounds, and then we're going to switch from there. Uh, and everybody's going to have five minutes. And it's going to be very interesting uh, how this will be played off because this will be all improv. So first and foremost, uh, Pastor Jones and uh, Kayata, uh, you're up. 
and go. Pastor Jones, when was the last time you spoke to my father? Ah, Sister KK, I'm so glad you called me. You know, uh, your dad and I have been friends for 35, 40 years. Right, I know the history. When the last time you spoke to him? Uh, we, we spoke every day until the time of his untimely death. God rest his soul. Uh, thank you. Um, did he tell you about the last political arrangements that he had? Well, I, you know, as a man of God, I stay out of the politics. Uh, you know, the, I, I stay out of all of that because it's really not godly, even though I believe we should have influence. But I stay out of his political things. I'm more interested in his philanthropy, how he supports the church and the things of God all over the world. Correct. Uh, and and we, need, we need your help with that, Pastor. Like, you are well, our I, messenger, your beacon, Absolutely. You know, when your daddy and I were, was back, you know, on the Edmund Pettus Bridge back in Selma, Alabama, and as we marched and walked uh, with Martin Luther King, we formed such a bond that could not be broken after 40 years of friendship. So I, I, I consider it a, pr a clear privilege and a pleasure to have been his friend. Um, I dare say that he was probably one of my closest friends that I've ever had. Yeah, he spoke very highly of you. Um, I would like to get with you uh, to pick up where he left off. There are some things that I have questions about, and I don't trust too many people. And um, I know the conversations my father and I have had in regards to you and his relationship. So I would need to um, piggyback and maybe set up a lunch meeting next week uh, for us to go over some details. Because I think there are some things that I have to take care of in regards to our family wealth initiative and legacy. And I need some direction in regards to that. So I need to get a full scope of your involvement with my father's business, whether it was a spiritual path or a religious one. Well, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I think it's great that the family comes together during this time to have these conversations. So I'll be having me with you and, and your sister and your, and your brother about this. Absolutely. Okay. No problem. I'll get with uh, my siblings and see what their availabilities are, and then I'll, I'll get back with you. Thank you for spending time with me today. Yeah, but, but uh, Sister KK, I, I have to be honest with you now. Mm -hmm. the, there are some conversations your father had me as a man of God that I, I really won't be able to talk about because, you know, the pastor um, privilege of some conversations he had with me. But everything I can talk about, I'll be, I'm going to be open kimono. I'm going to tell you everything I can. Just please understand there's some things I may not be able to talk about. I tell you what, I'll give you information first, and all I need you to tell me is yes or no. That will give me direction on which way I need to move. Don't forget, I was my father's favorite child. So there was a lot yes. to share with me. Yes, baby, you were. You were you were you were definitely daddy little girl. So uh, he 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 talked about you all, he bragged about you all the time. Um, so I, I so look forward to it. Uh, my heart is broken that we even have to go through this. But this is a path you all must walk. So to God be the glory. Thank you, Pastor. I appreciate it. Um, what is your relationship with my siblings? Well, you know, I see them um, when they come home and, and they come by the church. Obviously, you know, they, they come by the church every time they're there. So I, I know them and, and I broke bread with them. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm really heartbroken for, for your collective heartbreak. I'm particularly concerned about uh, your mother, and how, how this is going to have an effect on her. Yeah. Don't worry. Um, my sister and I have her. We'll make sure she's straight. Um, no, amen. If there's anything I can do, please let me know. I, I, I am available to you and your entire family. Okay. I tell you what. I would like to have a meeting with you with my siblings, of course, first. But then I would like to have an independent meeting outside of that. There is something that my father left for me to do. And I know that you are aware of it. And I get the fact that what you and him discuss is confidential. But... There is something that I have to do that's going to uh, sustain our legacy. And he gave me specific instructions to talk to you about it. So um, we can meet with the family, of course, but there are some other things that I need to discuss with you outside of that conversation. Absolutely. And I am available to you, sweetheart. I, I, I am. And so hey, whatever you need, I'm here for you and the family. So please use me as you need to. Okay, I will. You take care of yourself and tell your wife I said hello. All right, God bless you. Thank you, Pastor. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, next up, uh, uh, Carmela and uh, Mr. Sonny Wellington, which is me. 
All right, you ready? I am. Oh, my darling mother, I'm just so troubled about all of this. <laughs> Daddy was just so awesome, you know. I, you know, I was when I was overseas and talking to some people in Italy and in London, and gosh, they, they just spoke so highly of Daddy. And you know, I tried to make some deals with them and things, and things sometimes they, they just wanted so much of me, and I don't know. But you know, the will's coming up, the reading of the will's coming up, and Pastor Jones is gonna talk about it, and just everybody just seems like just pressure and things, but daddy handled it so well. I, I, you know, I know you and daddy weren't, you know, necessarily on the same page the last few years, but what's your thoughts, mom? Well, obviously, son, um, I'm a little broken up because contrary to popular belief, your father and I did have some semblance of relationship within the year prior to passing. So we um, really had mended certain fences, if you would. And we tried to keep up with you. Uh, and the truth of the matter is, Sonny, we had eyes on you all the time because we knew that you had gone to some of the same places we went. Just to be clear laid some foundation and we were hoping with you being our firstborn that you would kind of do it the way that we had it all structured and <laughs> you've always been a wild card if you would um so i'm really shocked that you actually made it back on, in such a timely manner, uh, since the last place that you were after your after your coma was in this little village in in Turkey, uh, uh, Gekudu. I think that was the name of it. And we couldn't. It's like on Star Trek, the Prime Directive. We couldn't just swoop in and rescue you because you would have resisted every way. But why? But why are there people on top of me? I like I don't know what I'm doing, you know. And things. I mean, I went to the fancy schools and all the other little stuff. And you know, I, I understand how you are, Mama. You like things a certain way, but you don't need to have people checking up on me. And like I don't know what I'm doing. Wellington, Sonny. Your last name is Wellington. Yeah. And we were paving the way for you. You were the first born. You had the first pick of everything. And just like the character you are, you went off and left field. And I was responsible for making sure that whenever you needed money, my, my responsibility was to make sure you had a penny to your name. I and that to. was with your father's agreement, by the way. Is that why the last couple of years he always kept saying, well, I have to check it over because the first few times I could do whatever I want and things. I tried to just show, my name may be Wellington, but I try to show off that I know what I'm doing too. You know, the the rest of the family think um, I get everything and I don't and things. I'm trying to show that I can run things, you know, yeah. the oil, the, uh, yeah. the real estate. And everything else and stuff like that. I could have handled business, but no, y'all just want to sit here and just run my life as always, just because I'm the oldest. Go run sister's life and life and things like that, you know. You Shoot. ran things so well that you ended up in the middle of a coup. What in the world? And then here you are in a coma. We had to make sure that you were safe. We <laughs> took you no 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 no. We took you out of Turkey. And we got you to Germany. But oh no, you couldn't stay put. And here you now turn up. You turn up here now. So how am I supposed to feel with that? Sometimes you got to go through some hard places. Everybody wants to do stuff and everything with their hands behind their back. 
You got to sometimes take, they all go into these places of a knife to a gunfight. Y'all not willing to take on the hard challenges. So, yeah, it was a little bit of a coup and things. I was meeting with the heads. Sonny, really? Hard challenges? Sir, if it were not for you going off path, you wouldn't know what hard was. Your father and I made it so easy for you until you really didn't have to have it hard. They didn't talk to me about hard. We made it, we made it easy for you. But no, I respect your independent streak, but at the end of the day, I know exactly how much is in your bank account, son. And I know exactly what some things went on overseas, too. Well, you know what? We ran into each other. Both, I mean, Pastor and I ran into you in Uganda. You weren't supposed to be there. And then you made assumptions and aspersions that were not true. So you, you, know, you think you know what was going on, but you didn't bother to really check it out. So those are mere assumptions that you're making. Mm, we'll mm. see. We'll see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. I have seen. All right. Next scene um, is with, uh, getting a little, a little good here. Um, next scene is with uh, Vivian uh, Wellington and Senator uh, Lokren uh, Roberts. Um, you ready? All right. And go. Uh, who's Leslie? Lorkey. Lorkey, you hear me talk? Ah, Miss Wellington. Baby, how you doing? Miss Wellington, is this what you normally do? You just bum rush yourself into people's offices? And where's Shelly out there? But she's, what, did you just go past her like you normally do? Huh? Please, please. stop it. Chill out, Lorkey. And do you, do you always walk around with that? What are you doing with that? I am self-medicating. That's what I'm doing. I'm going through a lot. I'm stressed. No thanks yeah. to all of my siblings and you. Yeah, you keep that stuff private, okay? You don't walk around all over the place drinking that, okay? And look, I have a very important meeting, so get to this. What's going on? Okay, I have heard some rumors. Uh, and don't lie to me, Lord, because you know, you've always been a freaking liar. Lie about what? I don't even know what this is about. Okay, okay, okay. Don't rush in someone's office. Okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. What's up? I have a question for you. We all know, even though some of you are in denial, but we all know that I am the star of the family and daddy's There's family. And since his untimely passing, in which I'm crushed, I'm really crushed. Um, it's been brought to my attention that he may be putting you or have put you in his will. Now, the reading of the will is coming up. Did anyone send you anything? Did you get any correspondence about being at my family's reading of the will of daddy? Correspondence regarding the reading of the will. Didn't start it. Yes. Yes, I did. I did receive the certified letter that, that, that came in. Now, look, Vivian, understand something. I don't want anything. I don't want anything huge. Now, your father. Keyword. You know, you said I, I knew you wanted something. Why did you, why you, no, you said I you didn't want anything. I said what I you, wanted what anything. You want, what you want, What you want? I want to honor your father. Therefore, I will be at the reading of the will because I was invited. I don't want your money. I have enough as it is. But Vivian, honey, 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 Lord Vivian, Lorky baby, Vivian, Lord Lorky baby. Lorky baby. It, it's, it's not Senator our money you may Robert. not need, but it, what it you do Senator need Robert is our influence, Jesus. our connections, Senator. our ties. That's what you need. need. I don't need. You may have anything. everybody else fooled. Vivian, hmm. listen, I don't need any of that, okay? I have enough of my own. But I will say this to you. Come here. How come 
since uh, that time when I just got out of graduate school about uh, 20 years ago. You never took me up on that proposal. Come on. What do you say? Look, the way this administration I'm, I'm, is now, you. hold on, hold on, let me finish. The way this administration is now, I could have a chance next election for the nomination. I need a first lady, Vivian. No, even now as a senator, I need a wife in my bed. <laughs> you Oh, you flat Come on. Oh. Come on, Vivian. You know you're not. What you don't know is I saw you in the shower. I'll pass on your wife and ship. <laughs> I need a real man, baby. Don't try to play me. Don't try to flatter me. What you need is daddy's clout, yeah. my family's last name, and all that I am with being Vivian. a well known actress, honey. Tony, Vivian. Emmy, Grammy, Vivian, Vivian, you have no rights at the reading. With me, you have no rights there. Why don't you Vivian. decline? Get the corona with me. so you can't make it. Social distancing. <laughs> if you stick with me, I could get you that which you've always wanted, which is a co-starring role with Denzel. Now that uh, can happen, but let's put that over on the side. What are you talking about the shower? What are you talking about? I saw you in the shower, Florky. I ain't missing nothing. What shower? <laughs> Bless your heart. That time I'm a baby at the shower. <laughs> Apparently that was five years ago. Oh. And between you and I, I have been suffering under some substance abuse issues, which is probably why you saw what you saw. Remember about four years ago, I took about a year off. I was, I was, in, the, I was in rehab, went through the 12 steps. I got my life together. Now we're looking at the presidency. And if you drop by tonight, I don't know what you saw years ago, but I can sure redeem myself, baby. Okay, well, I'll tell you this. It's evident that you need me. I might have a use for you. So if I stop by tonight, if I stop by tonight and you handle your business and put it down, maybe we can talk. If nothing Vivian. more, we have allegiance. Vivian. And I'll keep your drug struggle a secret. And Thank you, you give me what I want. Vivian. Why are you making this like a business transaction? Don't you still feel the same way for me the way we did 20 years ago? I still Child, love you. 20 years ago. It's all about connections. What people can do for the other person and I'm- Oh, Vivian. I'm not even sure if I want to marry you now. <laughs> Baby, I'm already married, but I'm down for the swirl. <laughs> what, threesome, foursome, fivesome? What y'all doing out there? All right, that's it. All right. <laughs> Bye, Lorky. No, uh, it's Senator Roberts and everything's fine. Now give me a white woman. How about that? Huh? All right, cut. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, I'm going to have uh, Miss Carmela. Uh, and you get to talk, have a uh, conversation with uh, Kay Tessman. All right. Ready? Mm -hmm. okay. Hello, Mother. How are you? I'm fine, darling. How are you? I'm managing. Um, business is busy as ever. Um, of course, the haters show up and always have critiques and things they have to say about my product line and that it uh, only caters to women of color. Um, but hey, it's our time to shine. That's how I look at it. But how are you? I'm great, honey. It's a little rough because there, there's been so many different assumptions. Uh, but anyway, back to you, honey. You know how well connected your mother is. Yeah. What do you need me to do uh, to get you wherever you want to in the world? Where? What can I do for you? I just wish the, um, the major name brand 
cosmetic people will understand that it doesn't take chemicals to make you look beautiful. You can use natural elements. I mean, it's better for your body. It sustains your youth. I need them to really understand that part and take the politics out of it. That's the aching part now. But you know, me and my attitude, I really don't care. Because, <laughs> I mean, I have my stacks already. I have my wealth. Um, but I just need them to either be silent or just come to the realization that my product changes lives. And if it doesn't fit their genetic strand, then that's not my problem. You know, go back to the lab, think of something else, come up with something new. I don't know, but uh, it's such an irritant. And then I have dad business to handle and um, I just need my balance to be structured. So if you can lean in and help me in that space, that would be great. Well, you are your mother's daughter, your okay. daughter's mother. You know, I bet your, your daughter's baby. You're my baby, my yeah. daughter. My mama's child, as they say. Your mother's child, exactly. I think I had a drink of much too. <laughs> anyway, darling, do you remember the time? Do you remember the time that we landed uh, over in Paris? Yeah. And uh, well, for some reason, the TSA over in Paris was trying to give me a hard time. Do I remember? Yeah. Rest assured, if I could get TSI peon fired and affect his family, keep their benefits from coming in and make it really, really rough on them. All you have to do is give me a name or two. Oh, okay. I've got your back, baby. Love you, mommy. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I'm going to come by tomorrow. I'm going to take you out for brunch. I think you need to leave the house for a while and get some fresh air. So we will discuss that in full detail because you know I'm real leery about saying things via FaceTime. I'd rather see you in person and give you the details. Um, so that way you can understand the severity of what I'm needing you to do. Um, but yeah, I hope you don't have any plans tomorrow. I plan on being at your house by 1.15. Is that okay? You are my plans. And don't ever forget, mommy can make things come up missing. I know. <laughs> I know, I know. That's why I love you so much. Um, yeah, I'll be through tomorrow at one. Um, I want to take you to your favorite restaurant. We're going to have some mimosas and eat the best seafood and vegetables and fruit. I am so I ready. To offer. Yeah. I've missed you so much, darling. We'll catch up. Okay, mom. I love you. I love you back, dear. All right. Take care of yourself till tomorrow. Absolutely. Bye. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, um, uh, Pastor Jones and uh, Vivian, and go. Sister Vivian, what can I do for you? I, you know, I love your last movie, girl. You know, thank I you, Pastor. I wasn't a pastor, you know. I, I was afraid that you wasn't going to watch it because it was a little bit of uh, it was for grown folks. Yeah, well, um, I appreciate I, your support. I got, I got, a, I got a private showing at the theater, and no one else knew I was there. You know, I past can't be just showing up places, you know. But but your daddy especially, hooked me up, so you know. Yeah, especially when I was, you know, in my birthday suit a couple of times. So you know. Well, you know, you know, all I, of that, Pastor. It was yeah, a I, I, I baptized you. I, I, you know, I, I know I've been known you since you was a baby. So you know, I, but I tell you what, you you done grown up a little bit. A little bit, yes. A little bit, Pastor. Grown up a little bit. That's all I'm allowed to say. I'm a pastor. I've been growing okay. up a little bit. But I, I read minds, Pastor. So bless you. Thank you. Uh, uh, oh, I love the prophetic anointing. Yes, yes, yes. Pastor, I have a um, a slight. I have several dilemmas, you know. And Daddy always say, if y'all have any problems, y'all could go to Pastor, and he will keep your secrets and keep it confidential. Not like we can, but I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> You know, I go, uh, but uh, anyway, um, I have a, a situation I want to talk about. You know, Lorky, I mean, Senator Roberts, you know. Yeah, I know that snake in the grass. That's why I'm calling you, Pastor, because Lorky, as long as I've known him, when his nose was snotty and he was always sniffing with that inhaler, I've always known him to be slick. You see what I'm saying? Now, I talked to him, 
And he was, knowing I'm already married, according to the state, <laughs> knowing I'm already married, he was proposing to me that I marry him because he is going to be up for the presidential position and that he wanted me for his backing as a first lady. Something in the milk ain't white. I know Lorky. He's a centipede if I ever smelt one, you know. Yeah, and but... I know what the Bible says about marriage. You know, I've done it several times. <laughs> yes, you have. I appreciate four of them now, so I know. Keeping it real, Pastor. <laughs> the rest I'll be faking with you, but I keeps it real. Hold on. Mm. Mm. Are, you, are you having communion by yourself this week? Oh, uh, China. That's cranberry juice, Pastor. Okay, I'm just, I'm just yeah, asking. Some kidneys clear. Bless you. <laughs> but you know anyway. what the book, your book does say? Take a little wine for your tummy. So, you know, I, I'm all right with that. I understand. Yeah, about four glasses. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to know, you know, what are your thoughts about that? You know, my main thing have always been entertainment, television, TV, theater, yeah. music, whatever. But I, I've reached the pinnacle in all of that. But you know my temperament. I'm not gonna have nobody telling me what I can and can't do. And I don't see myself playing well in the sandbox to be a first lady of the nation. Can you give me your thoughts on that? Uh, first of all, as you said before, you are still married. Last time I checked, you know, and, and I, I understand. But we gotta live together though. No, oh, well, you know, uh, there's a story I'm reminded of in the Bible where, um, where Jesus met a woman and said, hey, you know, the, you've got several husbands and the man you're living with isn't your husband, but yet he still found a way to redeem her. And all I'm saying, Sister Vivian, is that if God's opened some doors for you, you have to consider, if the, well, the doors have been open, you have to consider if God has opened the doors. I'm not telling you that, 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 that this Senator Snake in the Grass is good for you, but I can tell you this. The Bible says that the wealth of the wicked are laid up for the just. So how how will the just get, get that which the wicked have if they don't go where the wicked are? I, I ain't saying, I'm just saying. You know, you know what I'm saying? And you know, you, you was a you are an insightful man. I always knew, I always knew that you was real. Cause check this. You had just gave me a segue into the next thing I was gonna say. If in fact I decide to do this thing and deal with Lorkey and all his shenanigans, and he does make the presidency, and I do become the first lady, we will take care of you and the church in all the endeavors that you ever dreamed of. Especially, well, yeah. especially when it, we get that will written. So I know, I know my, that sister of mine, I ain't got to work with my brother, he got a couple of fuses loose, but that sister of mine may be a problem. So if I get in with Lorkey, I'm not getting with, well, accept his offer. <laughs> he won't be a problem. He said he was invited to the will. You know what I'm saying? Now, again, uh -huh. I, I don't have to worry about, I don't have to worry about Sonny, you know, and I don't even know what daddy and mama's relationship was, but it's that baby sister who thinks she all that. It's got to worry about. So if you come aboard with me in whatever way is needed in the future, I will make sure if I'm in charge of the, the estate, the Wellington fortune, you have nothing to worry about ever again in your entire life. Just a bit, I appreciate that. Now, you know I can't choose sides, but I would say this. There's a story in the Bible where a younger brother um, stole the birthright of his older brother. And, and that didn't go over very well. So, you know, uh, I think it was... Uh, Esau, I mean, Cain, uh, Jacob stole Esau's birthright. That, that's not right. And, and I, would, I would hate to see a younger child steal the birthright of an old. Amen, really Pastor. Amen. That. Now, as far as uh, the senator, city president, if I, I, I appreciate you want to take care of the church. What I would, pro what would probably help take care of the church, but really take care of the world, and take care of the people, because you know, I'm really about helping people who are less fortunate, mm -hmm. is that if he were to run for president, he would have to not be a senator. That might be a great place to influence 
God's word all over the world by having a man of God sitting in the halls of justice and where they make the laws so that the law of God can be the law of the land. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? I totally agree. We're here. I got you. Uh, and, 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 and my heart is for the Wellington family and my very good friend from 40 years ago, you know, you know, we were on the Edmund Pettus Bridge together down uh, in, in Selma, Alabama. Every time I talk to you, me, Pastor. And, and so, you know, I, 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 I my, my friend has passed and I'm heartbroken, but I, I, am, I am obligated and dedicated to make sure his family flourishes and thrives through this time. So, whatever you need, just and let I want to make sure you flourish as well. Well, God. God bless you, sister. God bless God you, bless. Pastor. I can't, can't wait to see your next movie. All right. And matter of fact, I'm going to donate all my proceeds from my next movie to you. Uh, and one day, maybe we'll get you to, to cut a gospel out. I ain't saying right, this Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Bless you, Pastor. You are a man bless of God. Bless you, darling. Uh-huh. Bye-bye, baby. Bye-bye. Wonderful. <laughs> Uh, Katia and uh, Vivian, you're up next. Vivian, darling, how are you? Hey, KK, how you doing? Oh, you can sound so genuine sometimes. I'm great. What are you sipping on? Cranberry juice. <laughs> Did, you you get that straight. Did you get that imported from California? I just want to know. Did you get it? Did you get it from California? Mind your business. What you want? <sighs> Um, so I hear that, um, Loki is sniffing around your, 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 your neck of the woods. And, um, there's some business that we need to take care of for our family business overseas. And, um, I heard he's climbing the charts in his political arena. Mm -hmm. Um, and we can leverage him. Explain. Well, I mean, you know he has the hots for you. I mean, come on, it's obvious. Like, I mean, the man sweats every time he talks to you. I'm like, come on, some of his words, and he's the most articulate senator <laughs> out of the bunch. Um, he he listens to you. I do notice that much. Um, and he likes the, the cat and, and, and mouse game that you guys play. But uh, we need access to... Uh, a political circle. I know Pop spoke to Pastor about some things, but he's on this old oh, keep it confidential. And I don't think I trust him too much. Um, you know how I feel about that. Yeah. I don't. I'm, that's my gut. I you trust know, But KK, you've never given Pastor the benefit of doubt. I know he's a little. Really? You know, just in case he knows it, I don't want to put my mouth on. But <laughs> <laughs> he, him. You know, but I, I've always had a way of handling Pastor. He always think I'm so genuine, child. He think I have so much respect for him. But we both know we don't. <laughs> but um, I got him. My, my thing, I, though, is what are you actually shooting for? What are you trying to accomplish? Because I have some things I want to accomplish myself. Now, hopefully you can keep this under your belt. Lorky, <laughs> he hates what I call him that. He gets so flushed and he's so sexy when he gets mad. Ooh. Anyway, I digress. Uh, <laughs> he's asked me to marry him. Mm. Yes, I know I'm already married. But me and that fool have been separated for a year, living in different households and things like that. Yeah. I talked to Pastor about it. You know, he gave me his blessings, a bit, whatever I wanted to do. Now, I don't know what's going to go down with the will. Hmm. Now, I did get out of Lorkey that he has been invited to the reading. Why? Exactly. Now, I know Daddy had this thing. He was just a godson or whatever, whatever, because Sonny was on some baby crack, you know, and he acted like Lorkey was like his substitute son, but he ain't his son for real. It ain't no way exactly. to blood running through Lorkey. Correct. And so... I'm confused on why he was invited to the reading of the will. And so I went straight to the horse. So I asked him just, you know, just to see, was he really invited? He said, yes, certified letter, and that he will be coming. And I asked him not to come. He said he was coming anyway. 
Ooh. And he told me I was about to get stupid at the mouth. Then he said, wait, wait, I also wanted to ask you, would you get married? And blah, blah, blah. I'm already married. But he had, he wanted me to be the first lady. Hmm. So I said, I told you all that because you said you had some plans and you wanted to get some things done. And I want to see if you and I are on the same page. Because, hmm. you know, I was daddy's favorite. Yeah. Keep yeah. believing that. You always was a great actress. Listen. Have fun. Uh, I'm just trying to secure our bag so that way our generations to come, our name will last beyond us. Okay, uh, secure the bag how, okay? Well, I mean, I know we're stupid rich. We're stupid wealthy. I get that part. But there's something that daddy was working on overseas and it has a strong political backing because of the fact that it can change society based off the technology that they were working on. It's, it's a different way of them processing oil to few houses and, and to do it like I don't want to talk too much over the phone. Um you know big brother you, watching child. I, I know. Um what are you doing later tonight? I was gonna meet with Lorky, but if this is important No is meet with him. You need to finesse him. Okay, wait, hold on. When you say finesse meaning that he, he gonna say yes to anything that you say, whether it makes sense or not. So just because, you know, I do have a moral compass sometimes. <laughs> so how far do I need, do I need to finesse him on my knees? Um, oh, <laughs> oh, just, um, you know, or just, you know, rub his hair. <laughs> Girl, use a phone, use a phone. You pimping out your so sister. I, I love you so much. I mean, you have the gift. You can do it. Like, I, you have that. You have I'll it. tell you what. Don't ask, don't tell. Oh, facts. So, all right. You continue with your plans. I'm okay. taking mom for lunch tomorrow. Okay. You can join us if you're free. I'm going to pick her up at 1.30. Meet me in the house. I know how you and mom are. Uh, if you don't want to deal with that energy, you don't have to. But I got to see you tomorrow evening so I can tell you in full scope of why. I'll deal I'm with legacy see because that was we get, this is this is beyond the pettiness now. But she better not come crazy out of her mouth. You know, mom is unfiltered, just like you are unfiltered. But you know, whatever. I'll do it for you, Kay. Yeah. I, whatever. I don't want no negative energy because this is something major. I mean, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to take private jets like within another month or so overseas because I have to meet with some heads. It's it's a lot. Daddy well, gave me specific instructions, and I'm sharing it with you. I'm not telling Sonny. Because Sonny has a mysterious way of finessing things and messing it all up, but somehow making people fall in love with him. I'm not doing that. But we have to stick together because this is this is major. And I will give you everything you need to know so that way you know your position in this. And <laughs> low-key is key because of his connections. Pastor ain't speaking, and I don't trust him too much. I don't, I don't know, sis. I don't, I like, if you don't give him enough money, then, you know, he don't everything's confidential unless you pay the cost. And I don't believe in wasting money. I don't. Okay. So. I got you. I got you. I guess me and you can join together and bind together on this. That's I'm watching you too, though. I'm watching you too. You can. I'm an open book. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, get out of here. I'll talk to you later. Okay, I love you despite how you feel, but this is major. Like, this is some real thing. Like, it's us against all the things that exist in this world. So I need Including you your mama? <laughs> You know, she, I, I cannot with you. I'm not. I'm, I get it. I get it. That too shall pass as past the walls. <laughs> okay. I know. Uh, uh, but uh, I might have to end up telling you some things about your mama. Some stuff I know that you don't know because you're the youngest. Y'all just think I'm just disrespectful and rebellious and whatever else for no reason. I know some things about your mama. So she can't sit behind my always looking down to me and talking about me and this and this and that. I could be this. I am KKA, this and this and that because I know her dirt. Yeah. And she just better act right for I expose her to you and Sonny. Okay. I get it. I get yeah. it. As long as she stays straight, I stay straight. I, I know, but it's, it's hard. You're always talking to me. You never talk to her. <sighs> y'all know y'all trigger each other, right? For some strange oh, reason. Oh, I got to go. I got to get oh. some more cranberry juice. Ow! Save me a bottle. I mean, <laughs> a glass. <laughs> Bye. I love you. Take care. All right. <laughs> Bye. All right. And wonderful ladies. All right. Um, <clears throat> Pastor Jones and Carmela, you're up. 
Mel, darling, how are you? Well, Pastor. <laughs> Come on, Mel, we've known you a long time. Come on. How many years have you known me, Pastor? How many? I've, I've known you before you married your husband, I knew you. Not in the biblical sense. At least that ain't what we tell it for. Uh, you better never tell. I, our secret look. While I will remember that for the rest of my life, I will never bring the word of it to anybody, especially especially your your ungrateful kids. I, I'm sorry, Mel, but you got you got some ungrateful, conniving, backbiting, yeah, twirling, I, I know what. Just I got to be clean about this. Ben is just like me. KKK is another up and coming mini me. Sonny just took the whole cake and I'm trying to get it back. So, and this, 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 Senator Loki, I, I, have you talked with him? I, I have not. I intend to, to do a drive by and have a, you know, have a, have a drive by conversation with him. You know, at, he, you know, he is a member of the church too when he's in town. So, He's not do, but, blood, Bo. He's not blood. He's no, not. but you, but but you know, you know, your husband considered him the son he never had. Well, here's the firecracker working background. Vivian, you know, she slithers in and out of this, that, and the other, and KK has her growing development of wonderful. <laughs> And both of them look at me like I'm the culprit. And I taught them every, well, almost everything that they know. And um, I, I, I'm just really uncomfortable with how this reading may, may come out, how it may turn out. Do you know anything about any of this? Well, Mel, you, you know I'm going to be reading it. You know, in the, from the bottom of my heart, I believe it will all work out the way it's supposed to work out. I will, I will tell you this, that there will be a few surprises uh, just from my conversation with your husband, but I think you'll be happy with the outcome. You know, so, because after all, you guys were together for 40 years. Um, yeah. you know, and, and, and I know the whole story. I've been there every step of the way with you and with him. So it will be fine. It will be fine. But I would not be surprised if, if your Sonny children drove a wedge, Pastor. Sonny what drove a wedge. No, no, I, and 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 I just don't think your husband thought that way. He was he was heartbroken. He was disappointed. Well, of but course, he, he not think that way. I have to be the one managing the money, keeping that boy's head above the water. But you emasculated your husband in the but process. Every time you looked around, it was a problem. Yes, but what your husband was trying to do, and, 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 and Mel, you know, we've had this conversation. Your husband had it with you. Sometimes men know how, what to do with men. He needed to fall on his face and nearly die without your help, but you rescued him. So that almost eliminates him from having any access to the family love because he hasn't learned how to handle responsibility. And that, my darling, is your fault. My fault? Yeah, I automatically because, become mommy dearest because he couldn't no, handle what you were, you were you're a helicopter doing. mommy. You wouldn't leave him alone and let him let him become a man. So this I, 40, this this grown age person has never become a man, and that's all his father wanted from him is to become a man. How could you but say Lordy, that? But the senator is the man that, that your husband wanted for a son. And you know he's going to be president. And your husband helped do that. Why does this blow back on me then? What responsibility uh, am I supposed to bear for all that crap? What? If you, if and my child, I'm not are you saying, on anyway, Bo? Well, Mel, I'm always on your side, though. Always on your side. But I, but I have to be honest because I'm on your side because I love you with all my heart. I have to tell you the truth. The truth is your husband. Different. It really doesn't feel like it. Yeah, but you know what? 
medicine doesn't feel good either, but it's still good for you. So here's the truth, the hard truth, is that if you want to maintain your family stature, you have to find a way to empower your son, rein in your daughters, and then allow them to fall under your umbrella. Right now, they're all trying to cut the head off, and you are the odd one out. And God forbid that the that the that reading will actually the will actually say that someone other than his blood gets the control of this company. And I and, and heaven forbid that. And in that case, you have to bond together. So you might as well start doing it now. Because whether you get the money or not, you need to bond your family back together. And don't forget, make sure you tie it to the church when you're done. No, did you just say that? I did, did you because say God's going to bless you. Well, you know, we have supported the church for years. How could you dare think differently? No, I, I, and all I know, sister, all I know, oh. Oh. Um, Mel, is this. You have greatly supported the church. But I know what your family's worth. You ain't tied. You just support it. And I'm okay with that because you're supported more than everyone else combined. But if you were to tithe, you see God's blessings even more. And maybe you wouldn't have the problem with your family if your husband hadn't been so hard-headed about tithing instead of just donating to God. I ain't saying yeah, that. I'm just don't go there because we donated all, all around the world. That's how our name became worldwide known. So. Yes, your name is known throughout the world, but not in the heavenly. So I, I, I don't understand why people would think that being known all you over know, the world is more important than being, named, being known to God. You know, I see right now, I, I'm coming to you for consolation, but, but what I'm getting is a lecture. I'm, I'm is, sorry. Is, I'm sorry. Is it any wonder why this contention is going on between, I never thought you'd say those things to me. So, Mel, let me make it up to you. Why don't you come by? I'll give you a hug, and we can sit down, and we can watch some TV and, and, and just kind of remember the old days like they used to. <laughs> okay, I'll think it over. You, you, you remember before you met your husband and, and our ride out to uh, in, in my convertible? You remember that? When, when you guys were driving for the first time? And, you almost ripped the stick shit, but Yes, the red one, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. But, you know, and, but, and, and, and I supported you all the way through your marriage. And when it was hard, I, I was the arms that, that waited for you and hugged you and made you feel better. And I will always be in your corner. Always. I think you're a suspect because I think Uganda really blew it out of the water with, with Sonny, of course. But... Yeah. Nevertheless, um, get back Wait, with me about me? the schedule before the reading because we need to have lunch or something, eyeball to eyeball. Can, can we arrange to have breakfast? <laughs> Only if it's... Yes. yes, breakfast. Yes, yes, we can so do it. I will um, contact you and, and send the car for you, and let's have breakfast in the I morning. I said cause, pastor. I yes. the I am <laughs> Yes, darling. So have no fear. It will all work out where it's supposed to. I promise. Well, toodles, and I'll see you soon. Yes, for breakfast. Yeah. For breakfast, yes. All right. A wonderful. Last but not least, uh, Carmela and Vivian. Carmela, darling, that is me. You know I'm the darling of the world. I'm reaching out to you, Vivian, because you are my many me. Hello, Mother. I was trying to call you. I guess you chimed in before my line got through. I was just trying to check on y'all to respect. You know, the Rona's out here, and they said check on the elderly. Those over 60, 70, 90. So I just decided to check on my mother. How are you, dear? Well, I'm doing very well. I see you're progressively getting better, just like your mommy. <laughs> yes, yes. You know, the younger of us, you know, tend to be more resilient. 
than the older, you know. That's what they saying. That's what they say. Darling, don't let age fool you. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I, you know, I'm not going to keep you long. I'm not going to stay long. <laughs> you know, I, I just wanted to check on you. You know, so if KK asked, did you check on Mama? I could say, yeah, I checked on the, the, I checked oh, on her. What a darling. What a darling. Well, listen, I, um, I know we're having this reading of the will, if you will, coming up. And I, I really hope that we can all come together as a family because I truly love my children. And whether you know it or not, your father and I, the last couple of years of his life, we really became rather close. And it, it would be a shame if there was a schism or any type of upset between us, uh, all of us. We, we need to be a unit. It's the Wellington way, you know? You never cease to amaze me, Mother. You're so predictable. You know, for a split second, I really thought you called to check on me because you love me. So it's about the will. Okay. All right, Mother. Let's just cut the crap. What do you need? What do you want? Um, I think I spoke perfect English, dear. I want us to be on one page as a family. So why would we have to be on one page now? We was never been on a, ever one page before, so why now? You still haven't get me. nothing? Look in the mirror. You're just like your mother. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> Child uh, abuse. Look in the mirror. Look, and what do you that one too, except for I gave it up. Listen to it's me. It's cranberry juice. No, 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 no. I know you. You've got your fingers in every pot. And that senator guy, I know he's got his nose wide open and he's going to take advantage of it. If I know you well, you've probably <laughs> talked to KK and you're probably plotting and scheming something. But guess what? Your mommy taught you. But I didn't teach you everything. So, darling, don't get ahead of yourself, okay? Oh, honey, all right. All right, mother, yeah. You taught me what you knew. My experiences and myself and my capabilities taught me the rest. And I got some tricks up my sleeves as well. Because I'm also daddy's child, who was a faithful man, a diligent man, unlike you. Because you. let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. You might got KK's nose wide open and Sonny's been clueless since the day he's been born. But you forgot that I saw you and the pastor. And if you don't chill out and let things play out like they're going to play out, I'm going to tell everybody what I know, what I've been carrying for all these decades. That's why I'm so jacked up. That's why I'm so screwed up. Because I know what Lady C has done. And I know what Lady C is probably still doing. And I know what Lady C is capable of. Did you just don't, don't, don't try, I try, I try to give you some respect. I try to did check you, on you. But did, did you want to come give me ultimatums? Did you about just your mother? Did you? Darling, you're coming for me with a pen knife. Darling, I've got a machete. Don't you ever forget that. Mother, the only thing saving you is the fact that you are my mother. Do you understand? Don't forget that. And don't you forget that you okay. came from me and your father. We okay. chose to have you. We chose not to make you disappear. So have some respect, darling. Okay. Okay. Let the games begin. I'm out. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, <laughs> I was like, oh, this is juicy. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie, you uh, unmute all your microphones. Unmute them all. <laughs> I said, I'm sorry, Lady D. <laughs> 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 it's just, That's you know, hilarious. Like, oh. <laughs> really okay. <laughs> New pastor was up to no good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he was. <laughs> he is making side bargains with everybody. <laughs> Which I ain't trying to That's hey. what pastors do, huh? No matter who wins, pastor wins. 
That's the oh, pastor's wedding here. Oh. Because, you know, the pastor's going to read the will, and no one's, no, no one's going to know what's in it but him. He's going to say, oh. That's why you he to me. everybody. <laughs> Manipulate John. <laughs> oh, Manipulate me, I was Lord, like, listen, do I stay focused? Because she looks so sweet and innocent. I'm like, God, God, he's up. <laughs> you got to apologize so she because she don't know you she they must think you a bee <laughs> i'm really a nice person <laughs> ask, ask tandy i'm just yes she's beautiful <laughs> inside and out <laughs> oh. that was awesome all i can say is that was awesome like i i just saw life i have <laughs> never been disrespectful to any of my uh People in my real life, so I was like, oh God, I'm going to hell. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you went you went to yeah, the older folks, 70, 80, 90 years old. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Just dig it. Just she dig had it. me crypt old, man. I'd be like, oh my God. <laughs> 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 you said, I, I was came at you with a pre okay? <laughs> when you set my A straight, you, I'm coming at you, uh, I'm coming at you with a pen knife, but you got a machete. I said, oh. Oh, let's go. We're we doing this. <laughs> she, she, she went there. That was hot. That was, that was a nice line right there. <laughs> oh, that was dope. I was just like, oh, my God, I'm so entertained. Like, yeah. wait a minute, ain't nothing written. <laughs> Lord Jesus. Yeah, this was a good thing, man. This was, Thank you. This was very entertaining. Oh, it was God. so, I needed this, man. Especially, you know, with uh, the Rona shutting down of the business. I mean, I lost all three of my incomes. And um, and I was sitting here going, I was about to be a truck dispatcher. I was trying to say, I gotta change career. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get some toilet paper. I know that's right. <laughs> no, I understand. Well, I, I want to let everybody thank y'all so much. I won't go around the circle. I'm gonna go reverse. Um, <laughs> uh, Lady C, Carmela, um, <laughs> what are your thoughts? I, what are your feelings of all of this? I think that it's. Um, I really think that it's a good way to help people just escape the reality of what's going on right now. I think that um, you can laugh, you can see drama and keep it on the screen and not in your, you know, not in your actual place and space. I, I think that it's, it can be fun and, and it can be eye opening. Yeah. I like it. Very awesome. good. Thank you. Yeah. Leslie. I just wanted to say it is it was phenomenal. When I first saw it, I thought it was a some kind of hacker. Then I saw I saw your name. I was like, oh, this is legit this demon. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you know, I know everybody don't believe the same thing, whatever, whatever, but you know, I God knows what you need. And it could be something so unorthodox, something out of left field. Uh like I said, I lost all three incomes. I had just opened the the tangible building. Um, everything's gone, you know, and I was really contemplating just forgetting entertainment altogether and get something that if something like this happened again, I won't be stuck like this. But I realized today that this is my passion. This is who I am. I got to find another way. And I'm so thankful to you, Stephen, for being so insightful and innovative. You know what I'm saying? And, and I got to meet some new people. You guys are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I just had a ball. And I'm just so thankful for you, um, in all seriousness, remembering me. So often people forget me and forget I exist. I don't have the look they want or the whatever they want to this, to this, and to that. But you remembered me. And I thank you for that. I needed this um, emotionally, mentally, and creatively. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Oh, my God, I'm a sissy. But uh, a lot going on. It was a wonderful, wonderful escape. And I thank you for it. Thank you. We've had many conversations over the years and, you know, here and there and a few words. And I, I could not do this without letting you know about it in at the very least. And um, if you weren't going to get around this one, I was going to definitely get you later one way or <laughs> <laughs> involved in this. It was one way or another. Um, <clears throat> um, Ms. Kate? Steve-O, you know, I love you very much. We always talking about innovative ways to shock the world. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, 
I, I thought it was dope. I love uh, improv um, filming, whether it's stage plays, whether it's TV series, whether it's, you know, park. It doesn't matter. Like, I think those are the most powerful yes, you, elements of the imagination. Okay. Right. right? The most powerful part of the imagination when you can just go give a baseline story. Okay, this is the background of the characters. Make magic with it. Um, to me, that's innovative. Um, it's authentic. And I love authenticity. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate, like, you're a brilliant man. I always tell you you're brilliant. Like, you always come up with something in entertainment or electronics or technology that just always blows my mind. So thank you for considering me. I got to see my, my boo, Miss Leslie and Coach. I miss you. <laughs> yeah. It is a pleasure to find, like, meet you for the first time. Um, thank you. You're welcome. Stunning. I was just, I was blown away. I was like, oh, my God. This is good. Like, oh, <laughs> just, like <laughs> I would actually watch this. <laughs> I was trying to be a part of it. I was like, well, what's gonna happen next? Don't nobody trust nobody. Oh, I'm not a pastor. <laughs> <laughs> nobody trusts pastor. Snake in the grass. <laughs> it's to me right now with this moment of all of us having to be stationary, like at home, like to ourselves, it's it makes people really think about everything they connected to and tied to and involved in. Like you really have time to really self-evaluate your life. It's like God said to the world, I need all of y'all to be at home so I can have y'all <laughs> myself. Period. 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 <laughs> ah, don't think you lost anything because you didn't lose anything. I paused the whole world and I will give you provisions to help sustain you through this entire ordeal. Mm -hmm. Do not yeah. worry. Fear not. Throughout this whole entire experience, I always been here. Fear not. The world needs to break. Mama about to be pissing, and now they all y'all. So yeah, I'm sending all y'all to y'all rooms right now. And let mm -hmm. the earth that do what it needs to do. Don't worry yep. about what man trying to conjure up. Trying, that's not going to work. They don't have the type of authority over anyone like that. So I think this is time where people can reflect, do your home projects, clean your house, be creative in your space. <coughs> Like, talk to God frequently. Everything is going to balance itself out. God got a lot of stuff to get out of the way, and he needs us in the way why he did that. So I tell everybody, like, trust and believe. I see, I see a whole lot. I feel a whole lot. I meditate. I pray constantly. Um, we gonna, This is going to be it's an awesome thing once we all come out of it. It was time needed. But thank you, Stephen. I am super grateful for your life because you, man, you is just, Awesome. Yes, he is. Bite-sized creative being. <laughs> Crazy. Don't worry, man. Will magic. And I, I just I adore you. I thank God for your life. I thank God for your vision. You are an awesome friend, an awesome person. Thank you. Thank you, my dear Quinn. Thank you. You're Coach? Welcome. Coach, you're up. All right, Grasshopper. Uh, this this is a good, this was a good thing. This good thing. I when he first pitched it, I'm like, ah, oh, this sounds interesting, but how's it going to come off? Because, you know, I don't know who Steven bringing to the table. And, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this this was a good thing. In fact, the guy that played the center, I know he had to run. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he had that one down down to, to the tip. He had to look. <laughs> yeah, he had to look, and then and he leaned into the camera. Let me whisper it. <laughs> what a move. So – uh, you assemble a great, great group of folks, man. So um, kudos to you, Stephen. Outstanding. Thank you so much. It's phenomenal. I'm so excited. Yeah, absolutely. I, I thank you all so very much. Um, I didn't want to come back on Sonny in this because Sonny's the one that's been missing. <laughs> so uh, he'll come back uh, later and things like that. Uh, thank you, Miss Sneed and all the Tracy Hardy and Scott for uh, helping out with all of this as well. Um, just wanted to bring a little bit of magic and uh, <clears throat> just see how this uh, turns out and things. I've always believed in the power of art, um, humanities, culture, social. Um, besides all the other technical sports and fashion entertainment, I did have a lot with um, stage and uh, theater and a whole lot of other things. And I wanted to try to bring a little bit of magic and a little bit of creativity for everybody. So I've just been grateful for the many opportunities growing up and to be able to share it with everybody and, and um, take a lot of the uh, blessings everybody else has been shared upon this project. So I thank you so very much. Hopefully we uh, can continue this. Um, 
how it goes further and everybody's uh, interest and participation. There's some more people down the line with the Wellington family uh, that's going to be uh, possibly uh, popping in and things. So we're going to see how this goes. Um, the will is coming and the reading of the will. So, uh, um, it's, well, I already uh, know what's in it. So I'm just so you all know, I know what's in it. <laughs> and, just, and, just say, and just say that God is good. I, I just say <laughs> Don't forget our mama's gangster. <laughs> I do, right? She's like machete her daughter. Mama <laughs> is gangster. <laughs> and we well, allowed you to live. I was like, damn. I was like, when, oh. When I, <laughs> I, I, I should have thought you down a toe. I was to go, oh. <laughs> but I thought I but I thought of Carmela, I thought nothing but Erica Kane the whole damn time. Oh, <laughs> <God. laughs> right. That's the whole look with the head wrap I mean she it, looks perfect. Yeah, she had <laughs> when I wrote <laughs> when I wrote when I wrote this, I said, you know, there were certain parts that said it was specific and things of that nature that it has to go to this person. Uh, so when y'all say yes, I just was slivering at the TV. And as you can see with the descriptions that I sent all of y'all that I really was going for gusto uh, with it, uh, with everything else and things that I knew Coach can go along with the past the role, but to be the, uh, there's alternative things. Yeah, just, you know, it, it, it would have helped my brand not be a crooked pastor. That, that really would have helped me out a little bit. <laughs> You know, I'm just you good at it though. You 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 made that scripture fit everything you wanted for each person. <laughs> we didn't even get to the overseas stuff and you know all the other things that pastors into and things. Oh, the mission trips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we go we go them the mission trips and things. So we go over there building no churches. Oh, no, we only were look. Mel and I were trying to fill them churches up, if you know what I mean. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you was in a church house. And everything <laughs> else and stuff like that. Uh, 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 Carmela, the, how did you did you feel that you had to come out more uh, out of yourself? And, <laughs> I don't know what you want to answer, person. But did you feel that you had to come out of yourself for this role a little bit? Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, it, it, I think with Camilla, you, you you get a sip, and and the more you the more you sip, the worse she gets. <laughs> Camilla, <laughs> and you know, I, I think that's just when I was reading, I was like, oh Lord, she is. <laughs> she was on Prozac at one one point. <laughs> she just knew how to make that just go on down and let her true self be controlled. <laughs> she is the controller. And there you go. There you go. Little things. Well, I thank y'all so very much. I have I a quick question, to... Stephen. Sure, I have please. A lot of people asking when it's going to be ready. I'm telling you, it's over. Oh, well, without exaggeration, God just get put it in, sent like stuff in my messenger. Mm -hmm. like, what I'm doing. I don't know if people just got cabin fever or they like. I don't know, but everybody want to. I want to see it. Vegas. Well, everybody. So, when? 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 So, I have no idea. I, I don't know. Well, if I'm going to work on this. I had a couple of other things to get done. I was going to work on it tonight, but I'm going to work to try to get this out by 10 o'clock tonight at the ber uh, at the earliest. I'm going to work to get that. By <laughs> and you're posting it already. Oh, my God. God. That's going to be dope. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, before we go and things, um, for those who may um, not get to see everything, um, please, um, uh, lastly, your contact information, your businesses, and things like that. I want to be respectful to your crafts. I'm sorry, say again? Yeah? I'm going to go around the circle starting uh, with uh, Lady D. I want everybody to uh, say their, you know, their brand, their crafts, and their contact information, and things like that for people to contact you. Okay, well, um, the brand is Lady D, and this is really who I am. Um, <laughs> I am with yeah, the pop stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, Lord. I'm with, I'm with the pop stuff. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> and, and we enjoy transformational conversations. We enjoy the rules. And I am his rule reward. Bless the Lord. So I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Um, it, it's a blessing to be with him. And um, Shepherd's Nook that we have a heart for pastors, leaders, uh, those who serve work hard in, in, the, in the body of Christ and just don't catch a break. So uh, 
our heart is to at least be there for them and, and give them a direction to go in when they need a break. So that's who I am in a nutshell, but I am in the shell. I'm not a nut, but I am in the shell. <laughs> Problem, not a problem. Um, <clears throat> Queen Leslie. Uh, like I said before, I'm Leslie Dupree <laughs> of Less D Entertainment. That's just like a, a one-stop shop, like a Walmart for entertainment. Everything <laughs> is in there. Um, uh, even though the building has shut down, um, I am Less D Entertainment. So still I can do the vocal training, the acting lessons, everything remotely, the graphic designs, uh, logo design. Everything that anybody needs, resumes, vitals, whatever, picture you see with my shoulder. Uh, I'm an illustrator as well, and somebody painted that for me, and things like that. So different things that I do. Um, you can um, see me on Facebook at Leslie Holmes, H-O-L-M-E-S, hyphen Dupree. Or you can be on um, Instagram at Les D, the number two, Hollywood on Instagram. Um, you can find all the information about there. Uh, I am the writer, producer, and director of Hips, the stage play. And also some other things that's coming out. <laughs> but whenever it opens up again. <laughs> so, um, you know, and I do a lot of things for BBWs and things like that. And people with autoimmune diseases, you know, like sarcoidosis and things like that. I've been diagnosed with that and whatever else. And also how to I do workshops for women, you know, when your body turns on you. <laughs> and you know because I lived most of my life as an athlete and then it all hit and now I find myself in a different vessel and people treat you differently people treat you differently according to your vessel and so I'm teaching um plus size women no matter how they shaped things like that to accent what you have and to love yourself and I'm still working on it <laughs> myself but uh I do a lot of public speaking and things for women about self-love and you know, all your stretch marks, scars or whatever, that tells a story. Look at them as a story to who you are. They make you who you are. You see what I'm saying? So that's what I do. I motivate uh, black women, W's, the black family, things like that. And I'm an I'm a advocate for the homeless and the you know, downtrodden and all the underdogs. And I, I don't have a racist bone in my body, but I'm pro-black. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. You know, yeah, um, we, we got to look out for each other. So that's why. You know, good and well, I'll be uh, wrong not to uh, grab a little something from you. And so, uh, can you can you give give us a little bit of a tune of, of you know one or two lines? We don't want to get them too much, but you know, my blessing us with a note or two. Oh, you talking? <laughs> are you serious? Okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> oh Lord. Because the Lord is my shepherd, I have everything that I need. He lets me rest in the meadow's grass, and he leads, he leads me beside the quiet stream. He restores my failing health, and he helps me to do what honors him the most. That's why I'm saved. Oh, yes, I'm saved. That's why I'm saved. I'm saved. Saved. Jesus songs. You gotta stay safe, saints. Amen. Oh, oh, oh. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Still looking for money. Still looking for money. I cannot. Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. Wonderful. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, uh, Tandy, how did you get in contact with me and such? Yes, I am Tandalyn Cook. On Facebook, that's T A N D Y L Y N Cook C O O K E. Um, I can be reached on Instagram by the tag of Tangiers, and that's T A N G I R C E. Um, I am an actress. I am a writer. Uh, I'm collaborating with various musical artists as far as converting their work into stage plays and or movies. 
So I've been working on several projects independently of outside of what I'm already tagged to do. Um, once the levees lift up, um, I will be performing on stage, should be going on tour. Leslie's a part of the cast too. Um, not the man I married. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. She also awesome too, y'all. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Pal, thank you. <laughs> it's a very powerful <laughs> story. Um, and one thing I do know that I've been called to convey true life stories through theatrics where people can actually see and feel what that looks like um, yeah. and know that they're not alone. So I feel like that's part of what I've been called to do. Um, but yeah, and I do hair too. I um, Corporate is a whole nother side, but as far as independent businesses, writing, <laughs> theatrics, and hair is basically my three pillars of what I'm involved in. So that's me, Tandle and Cook, Facebook, Tangiers. Instagram. All right. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Awesome. And a coach. All right. So I, I had to look at I had to look at my stuff, make sure I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I am Coach Ellis, and I specialize. We specialize. Uh, our company is called Transformational Conversations, where we help people discover, um, that's discover, uncover their divine design, passionately pursue their personal purpose. Uh, de deliberately define their destiny and then live a life worth leaving as a legacy. And so our quest, uh, our market, our folks are leaders, uh, sacred and secular, um, who want to uh, grow in their faith, grow in their leadership, or grow in their relationships. Um, as some of you know, uh, I hosted um, TV shows, two seasons, one in Richmond and one in Hampton Roads of the Rules Relationship Show. R rules is Relationships Universal Lessons. And that was designed for single women over the age of 30 who, who have been in, want to be in, or have just gotten out of great um, relationships with men and want to have better relationships. Now, since I have a rules reward, we are actually also doing rules for couples because Relationship Universal Lessons for couples is different than when you were single. And so, we, uh, we host uh, a radio show on Thursday nights called The Rules and a radio show on Sunday nights called uh, His to Transform, which is our, our, ours into the church world where we, we're talking to church folks about church things. So if you need to reach me, uh, it's easy. It's coach at ellisgrum.net. Uh, you can reach on Instagram, it's Coach Ellis. On Twitter, it's Coach Ellis. And um, we are we are looking forward to having transformational conversations with people uh, because we believe that once you know the truth, your life will never, ever be the same again. All right. Thank you, everybody, so very much. And again, I'm the one and only Mr. LP, Stephen Sykes of Live and Global Media. And we also have Travala Studios. And we're just out here having fun uh, to provide news, information, social media, photography, video, and a whole bunch of different things. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to reach us at enliven, E-N-L-I-V-E-N-G-M at gmail.com or hit us up on our Facebook page. I thank you all so very much and things. And thank you, thank you, thank you for everybody for participating. Participating. Thank you so very much, and may you have a great and blessed day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.